Perform this at your own risk. You should only attempt this modification if you are comfortable with soldering and working with electronics. You don't need to be a pro, but you should have some experience. At a minimum, practice on something else first to be sure you are confident you can do this. Oh yeah, this will void your warranty. Alright, so what we're talking about doing here is what I'm going to refer to as the Reflex 1 mod. Uh, Reflex 1 is a user on RC Groups that uh, first kind of alerted us to this mod. Lots of people were digging into the audio profiles on the Tyrannus. Uh, but he was the first I recognized that posted a viable solution that seemed to be easy to do. And what it involves is applying a 1000 microfarad capacitor to the VCC and ground pads on the Tyrannus daughter board. Now this is a revision A uh, Tyrannus audio board. So uh, revision B is going to be a little bit different. So my goal with this video was just simply to document um, my process of adding this modification to my Tyrannus. And the purpose of the modification is to reduce the overall audio buzz or humming that seems to be prevalent with the Tyrannus radios, particularly the revision A radios. So this mod is supposed to help eliminate that. I'm going to do some audio testing beforehand and then I'm going to redo the audio testing afterwards to see what changes uh, the modification did. And hopefully this just simplifies the instructions because a lot of people are posting on the forums uh, and, and in particular the uh, Tyrannus Hardware Hacks uh, thread on RC Groups and it's just there's a lot of information so hopefully this will distill it all down into something easy to understand and then you can see exactly how it works. This is not a how to solder video uh, so don't hate on me if you don't like my soldering skills uh, but it gets the job done so uh, anyway let's get to it. So the first thing I wanted to do is get some baseline audio so in order to get a consistent signature I put a recorder at a consistent distance from the Tyrannus speaker each time. I also recorded some line audio from the headphone jack although it turns out to be a problem all on its own and I'll show you that here later. So of course we have to crack the case open so as uh, often recommended I'm going to tape the switches to the front so that they kind of stay in place. Uh, get the battery out of there and then let's uh, unscrew this thing and take it apart. There's a total of six screws to take it apart. It's pretty easy. I'm also laying down a blanket in this case to protect the um, front switches and buttons and the sticks when they're laying on the table. Once you get it all split apart uh, just spread it all and lay it out. What we're looking at is the side where the sticks are. The back side of that board has the daughter board for the audio on the revision A. It's really small. Uh, actually smaller than I imagined because you see all the pictures they're blown up. Here this ought to help you get a sense of how small it really is when you can see it compared to my thumb. I also have the factory speaker still in. I want to make sure all the mods are done with this factory speaker. So go ahead and take all your wires apart. I, I decided it was easier for me uh, to separate the two halves of the Tyrannus. You could easily solder it uh, with it all together but I wanted all the wires out of the way and then I'm going to put this underneath the microscope so I wanted to make sure I had a lot of clearance. Now, one last look before I get started. Alright, so here's the capacitor I'm putting on. Like I said, it's a 1000 microfarad uh, capacitor and it is polarized so you can see that there is the stripe that indicates the negative side. It's also the shorter of the two leads. Of course, once I cut the leads, uh, I won't know which one's shorter anymore. And I decided to fold them over and uh, make a little legs so that they could sit on top of the pads. And then here's a test fit to see how they're going to fit on the pads. And of course here you can see exactly where the soldering points for this are going to be. VCC and ground. I used a flux pin to uh, apply some flux. Next I added uh, some fresh solder to the top of the pads just trying to carefully uh, give something for the pins to sit in on the capacitor. I set it in place and they just heat it up and uh, set them right on those pads and let it sink in. Don't want to spend a lot of time adding heat. Then I used a Q-tip uh, with alcohol to clean up all the excess flux, as much as I could anyway. So here's, uh, it's sitting on the pad and, uh, you know, it's pretty solid. So now I have to make sure that I can get my uh, wires plugged back in. And uh, I just kind of moved it out of the way. It turns out though that uh, once I got all the wires put back together, that I had to adjust that capacitor just a little bit to be able to get the uh, back of the case on. Uh, that would be a good reason to uh, solder it off to the side uh, like Reflex 1 did and use a wire to connect it to those pads. This is a pretty big cap though, actually bigger than I need, but it's what I had. Um, but again, I had some trouble getting it closed, uh, so I just uh, basically folded it over and I got it where I needed it. And you can see here, this is what it looks like uh, inside the case now. 
and it closes up just fine. So after I got it all back together, I redid the audio testing, and now you can see the results of that. Well, if you ask me, I'd say that's pretty conclusive evidence that the 1000 microfarad cap uh, works to reduce the background buzz. Uh, just also a note that some of that may also be ambient noise. It's basically an open recorder in a room. So, uh, you know, it, uh, of course, I turned up the volume a little bit so you can hear it on the video, but it's really hard to hear. You have to put your ear up to the radio to hear it now. Uh, after the modification where before you could just hear it whenever you turned on the radio so I'm very impressed with the mod now the next test I did was with the line out basically the headphone jack for the radio straight into the recorder and the results were a little bit different and I'll explain why here in a second So like me, you're probably wondering what the heck is going on, why it seems like it's worse after the mod than it is before. And it actually turns out it's part of the problem with my method of recording, which is using a fairly long cable between the radio and the recorder. And basically what I did is I created a huge antenna for uh, radio frequency interference. And uh, the interference exists within the radio but it's amplified by the fact that I have a, uh, a very long cable attached to it. Of course, this fact is easily demonstrated when I move the cable up and down. So it turns out that's a whole nother mod. I'm not going to get into that in this video because I want to do a separate video for each mod I do. So this was the 1000 microfarad cap mod to reduce the audio buzz. The next one I'm going to do is going to be to deal with the uh, volume popping whenever you uh, change volume control with the Tyrannus. And the third one is going to address the radio frequency interference issue. Uh, and uh, so um, I'm hoping to, uh, to test them all and see how they work out. So that's it for this one. I uh, hope you found it helpful. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.